There it is. Ah. Okay, should we cut into this? Yes, that's, what else are we gonna do? Why are you going so gentle for? You want to be perfect? Why is this taking an enormous amount of time? Sorry, are you in a rush? Kind of. Hi, welcome back to Vince's at Home. I'm Hi, here everyone. with uh, wifey. I shouldn't call you wifey, right? My beautiful wife, Kristen. We have a wonderful episode for you this week because we're making one of our family's favorites, which is just... Lasagna. Just lasagna. Just a good old fashioned beef lasagna. We're gonna be using Vince's Market already cooked, ready to use sauce. Yes, to make it a little quicker. So that'll make it a lot quicker. We are first going to chop celery, onion, and carrot. This is a large onion, so we're just gonna use half of it. And I'm going to use the handy chopper. How much of that celery do you want? Three stalks is good. For carrots, how many? Four. How did you know you wanted three celery and four carrots? We often get asked for specific recipes from our commenters. You know, I, I don't cook with specifics. I just like take a look. They look like small carrots. They look like tall celery. So <laughs> the ratio looked even to me. I like the technicalness of that. That is how I made my decision. Yep. I don't think you can get this wrong. It doesn't really matter. Fair enough. You do you. <laughs> You know, you know what would be handy if this if this was in you there. Keep that. Yeah, blade is in the chopper. That helps. So you are going to saute the vegetables first. Yes, for our base of our bolognese sauce. Hmm. Such a good cook. Oh, thanks, Eddie. You're welcome. This is already cooked, seasoned sauce, ready to go. So today, to be quick, I'm just using this Vince's ready-made sauce. So we're making a big lasagna, so we need a lot of sauce. So now, while that's heating up, I'm going to grate some mozzarella cheese. You can use the pre-shredded mozzarella, but I just find that this mozzarella melts better into the lasagna. So while you grate that cheese, good work, honey. Thank you. The first thing we do is put some parchment paper because we do not want to bake right onto the aluminum. You don't? So I'm going to get, no, you don't want the aluminum to seep into your food. Mm. A layer of sauce in the bottom of the pan. Those are ready to use, right? Oven ready. Oven yeah, ready. You do not need to boil these, just cook right in, the, in your lasagna sauce. So now I'm going to put another layer of the meat sauce on top, cover all the noodles. And now for the cheese. Generous layer, some Parmigiano cheese. Then we make another layer and we just keep going. How many layers we got I here? I think this was only about like four layers. Four sounds good. You could keep going. So we're gonna top it off with some more mozzarella. We like lots of cheese. And then we are going to cover it with some foil. So we are going to take out the lasagna, and although it may be tempting to cut into it right away, we are going to cover it and let it set. It's rested for about half hour, so now when we cut into it, it won't like be a gloopy mess, mm. hopefully. It's a giant piece of lasagna. Oh yeah. Ha ha, that looks so good. Okay. That looks so good. That is a ginormous piece of lasagna. Well, let's see. Fork test. Yeah, came down nice. Three, two, one. Do you want to like crisscross? No, no thank you. <laughs> it's good. I don't know what else to say when things are really good other than it's just good. Good food is good food. Mm. You like it? Yep, I love it. Good job. Okay, we're gonna go share this with everybody else because it's like we're bringing a potluck around the store now. 